Hey y'all, here I am in the heart of Deep East Texas. Check it out. Uh, got a cool little video for you today real quick. Uh, just wanted to tell you, uh, I'm gonna start feeding the birds. I wish it was chickens. I'd like to have some chickens. They look like a lot of fun. But I live in an apartment. I can't keep chickens. But uh, I can keep feeding some wild birds. And it's the middle of winter down here. And uh, I think the birds could use a little extra help. Uh, I see them flying around in my yard, but they don't stop long enough for me to, to take a picture of them or, or, or put some loving on them. So I, I've got these uh, bird feeders and some bird seed. I was watching what Vivi did next. She's one of my favorite vloggers. She lives over in London, England. And uh, she just got all hooked up on her allotment with a whole lot of cool bird feeders. And so she's gonna be watching the little birdies. And uh, I went out and I got some bird seed and some little feeders. And I'm gonna give it a try and see if I can get some uh, fancy birds on camera and put them off in my videos. Uh, I watch uh, a channel by uh, Ann David and she makes uh, short little nature videos and she has beautiful birds and, and insects and, and I've always wanted to do some of that sort of stuff. I see a lot of people over in uh, England are, are big bird watchers. Vivi was talking about a nationwide bird watching weekend where everybody counts birds and and makes a list of all the different kinds of birds they see and, and that kind of gives a bird census. Well, I did something like that 10, 12 years ago with hummingbirds. It was the Texas Hummingbird Roundup. And uh, you got a, a chart with different hummingbirds on it and, and a hummingbird feeder. And what you did is you washed your hummingbird feeder and you marked down in your calendar what days you saw the different hummingbirds. And what they were doing is they were able to track the hummingbirds as they migrated south or, or back down south or back up north. And they just come right up the coast here of Texas from down in Mexico where they overwinter. And as they follow the, the blooming flowers up the, the coast, people were marking off on their list. Oh, I saw a little uh, ruby red and a little something, something. And then they could track. They're saying, oh, here they come. Here comes the big birds. And it was a lot of fun. And uh, I haven't done it. That was, I only did it one year. And I neglected to keep doing it. But anyway, I'm getting back into it. I've been feeding the hummingbirds. Not now, they're not around anymore, but in the, the spring and over the summer. Uh, I even made a video, but of course, I couldn't find any live hummingbirds while I was filming, so I just had some still pictures. But uh, hopefully, with these bird feeders, I'll be able to track some uh, things like cardinals, gross beaks, tit mice, uh, nut hatches, chickadees, juncos, and finches. Yeah, so I went out to the store and I got one of these little seed bells. It's a bunch of seeds all pressed in there, sunflowers, the, the black, black oil sunflowers. These are the kind of sunflower seeds that uh, Patricia in Cube is trying to grow. She'd never seen black sunflower seeds before. So uh, if she grows them, she can uh, save them for her birdies because the birds love to eat them. Well, she likes to eat them. And, uh, it's got uh, shelled sunflowers, seeds and peanuts, safflower, and white millet. It's all pressed together, some kind of, hopefully, harmless glue holding them all together. And then, I got one of these really cool little uh, suet hangers. Suet! And uh, it's got uh, cracked corn and some peanuts and some other little things off in there, but it's mostly the the suet, the fat. And I guess little birds need that in the, in the winter for energy and maybe waterproofing. I don't know, rub a little out on your beak. And then I got this cool 
bird seed uh, bird feeder. Isn't that neat? And it has different uh, little portals you can change out. If you got the real fine thistle seed, you can put these little smaller little things in there. But I got this regular bird mix and uh, actually it looks kind of cheap. I'm gonna go and look and see if I can't find some with more nuts and berries. And, uh, but this will do good. And uh, I'm gonna go and hang them out in the backyard where I can see them from my apartment but also I can see them when I'm out in the garden and hopefully I'll be able to uh, catch some on, on camera so I can show you guys. All right. Uh, so I got to get something like a, a string or something to hang this up, but then I'm going to, I'm going to go out back and uh, find a place to hang them and uh, I'll show you when I get them set up. Maybe we can catch a bird on camera. All right. Okay. Let's go do this. feeder or the, the seed bell bird feeders over there and the suets in a tree over there so bird's got a, a little circuit of uh, snacks all right well I got them up now I just gotta wait for the birds to show up and hopefully I can get some on camera and uh, make a, a little video for you so uh, hey uh, been a lot of fun maybe you can give it a try take some pictures or make your own little uh, wildlife video and uh, let me know uh, I'd like to hear about it <laughs> I would really I love little birds I can't wait to see all the different kinds and uh, maybe I'm turning into an old man I like bird watching now oh geez See you next time in the garden.